Okay, Guinness World Records, we're going to do this. This is Marcel Ray Derez, and my two attempts are for the longest novel and also for the most songs on the digital album. I have composed and created a website to show and prove all guidelines have been met, and this statement doesn't usually have to come from me. It comes from the witnesses who have reviewed my material. And at this point, everything has been submitted and reviewed by the experts in which Guinness World Record wanted me to go and find, which I did for them. So I will go through each piece of evidence as documentary, and we will have this reopened with the new submission, along with the application number, which is provided on the website uh, template, um, the cover letter. I'll go through each and one of these pieces exactly how they are, and uh, there will be no more discrepancies between what has been submitted and what you need to see. The failure in communication is absolutely ridiculous. All right, so let's do this. Longest novel, the cover letter. The cover letter has been submitted. The cover letter is also provided by www.durize19.wixsite.com slash durize W-O-R-L-D-R-E-C-O-R-D-S, which is also submitted through therez 19wixcom which is already in your submissions to see, which was provided to you in the last application, which you have blatantly ignored. I'm going to do this in order. Here's my qualifications of why I am more than capable of holding this world record. I am a musician, also a novelist and an artist with uh, degrees or a background coming from Purdue University and a BA in professional studies. Also hold a bachelor's from the Art Institute of Pittsburgh in graphic art. I have a past experience in engineering I have a minor in English. Download the file, look at it, all the information is there, it's correct, and it tells you exactly about my qualifications. Cover letter. This is the cover letter for Longest Novel. My application number is 2207-2201333-5LN. The current record is 9,609,000, and it was held by Marcel Proust, or Proust, pretending on, uh, pretend, uh, depending on who you would like to choose. Longest novel is now 28,827,001, which has a total of 5.9 million words, 23,061 pages, and weighs 115 pounds. Also carries the same ISBN number on every volume. As a continuous novel that is bound and made in paperback format and commercially avail available for purchase, At this point, you have my information about where I live and where to send the certificate. You have the date of the attempt, which was 07-26-22. You have the reasons of why I wanted to do the record. I'm going to give this a summary. I love to write, I love to publish, I love to write novels and have the experience and have a a uh, story where it helps somebody else understand what it's like to be the main character and also have a good moral in which can give somebody else the hope and the dream of doing exactly going for what I did. Um, the characters were counted by charactercounter.com and it was an automatic application that does the sum through a uh, internet uh, application resource. Which means I had nothing in on how it was counted, it was done by a computer. All you have to do is convert the 
uh, the tax number over into the application and it automatically sums. This is signed and dated. Moving on. This next section states exactly what it needs to. This is photographic evidence of my history of where I'm from. It also tells you the specifications of the record in a, a timeline. I am going to skim through this. It basically tells you my college backgrounds, my degrees, my courses. It tells you the number of words that was in the longest novel, which is 5,999,999. Uh, the character count again is 28 million eight hundred and twenty seven thousand and one uh, page count is thirty two thousand sixty one pages it spans 80 volumes it took 384.7 hours to read the book The next piece of evidence is from uh, medium.com. It is basically a press about the information. It states the same thing. I will download it. I will show it in evidence. This also tells you about the Facebook events and the people that have witnessed for the events for both records, where they took place and how they received their information of seeing exactly what was provided to them of witnessing the events that took place of the attempt. This also gives a timeline of every book that was published in my history of my career. Something I did for this, it wasn't part of uh, the specifications. I mean, it was kind of asked of me to give exactly the details of what was in the, the volume of, um, you know, it could be any genre. I gave a synopsis of a complete rundown of POVs, plots, and tropes of the story to help qualify what constitutes a novel. Sorry, I have to refresh my page. In this pink button right here, all you have to do is click on the pink button and it takes you right to the store of the distributor where you can get worldwide distribution of each and every one of the volumes, which is in chrono chronological order, or uh, one right after the other, numerical, and you can receive each and every one of the copies for purchase. I'll come back to this because this one does not want to load right now and that's on my internet connection. Uh, technical glitch and we'll come back. So I'm going to move forward. This is the digital copy and it should be working right now and it's taking too long to respond, but it does work. So 
So this is a fandom Wikipedia page. The fandom Wikipedia page is press about the events that took place. I also attached the first three chapters just as a review of my writing style and also a downloadable copy. By the way, uh, to download every file, that's all you have to do is hit this download icon or hit print and you have the copy for you at any given moment to download. They're all downloadable. I also have a Wikipedia page that also shows a picture of how everything was counted in, in uh, word to character count along with the pages that was also automatically summed, which matches exactly what was in the documentation that was provided by soft copy. I also have attached a copy of the main website. Okay. Um, I also attached a picture of every one of the books in the timeline along with photographic evidence that was also provided in the Wikipedia page, along with the event posters in every one of the volumes, including every one of the main characters and their POVs. I've given about a five-page synopsis of each and every one of the, the stories combined in one summary, along with every link that is live that goes right to the books. So you also have it in one link that would be the series, and also every one of the books has their own independent URL. Um, I have all the word count. I have press releases. From press release point, you can download them by hitting the download tab. How word and characters were summed right here. This document shows you and tells you exactly what the witnesses received to be able to qualify what constitutes a novel in the industry when they are provided by being people in the publication field like editors and people who have published books traditionally. Which meets the requirements of the guidelines that was specified or specified, excuse me. It wasn't um, part of the record attempt that I do the, the, the time long sheet time log sheet the way it needs to be done here, but I have it provided. Along with the thickness. Along with another page of photographic evidence of how character count was used and accomplished by using the online resource. Again, 28,827,000 total characters. Each letter counts as one character. Spaces are also counted as one letter each. Okay. Um, it's in English. It's a romance. Um, the editions are through Barnes & Noble and hardcovers are through Lulu. Also comes an ebook. They are an A5. They're 5 by 8. And again, everything is specified. In this piece of documentation, which is also on the website, I have given all the ISBNs on the back, which was a requirement. Along with photographic evidence of each book cover.
And here we have a very large, a very large picture showing exactly what seems to be missed every time this evidence is submitted. I made this picture very large and clear so every witness management team can see exactly how characters were counted. Very large photo. The requirement of everything that was the book selling. Just in 2021, you had 130 sales. Meets the requirement. Media. You can download each one of these media articles. They have nothing to do with the need of the requirement of showing anything except knowing that they were published to the world as events. And even then, it's just more documentation to provide to the world that the events actually happened. Photos. You have clear depictions of each and everything that you required. The events, the measurements, the weight, the interior, and even the length, width, and height was all documented. along with the links that take you to the events that were online so people could witness the event because of COVID times. We couldn't do a live event. Sadly, we had to do one that was digital. Um, there was live events before, but the, the crowd had to be small because of mask mandates. Here you have a video of the full attempt start to end, which is 20 minutes to watch. This is every one of the documentation pieces of every book in one document in Microsoft Word from start to end, which is 10 years worth of material. Um, if you would put every page end to end, you go 1.7 miles of sheets of paper. Here's a video that describes everything being bound as one continuous novel in the stores, and one that comes after another under the name Novea Saga. Commercially available for obtaining. There's a video on that. Split and bound into multiple volumes held together with paper and glue, which is what constitutes the idea of a novel. You can play the video on YouTube. Witnesses qualified. I'm not sure how to pronounce this man's name. I don't know him personally, so if I butcher his name, I do apologize. I'm going to download that file and I'm going to put it in this video. Peter James Gun Gunnan Lejang. Le this goes under longest novel. This is a new application that needs to be submitted. The application was open on the 22nd of July, which was open before you tried to give the despicable, despicable act of trying to close me down from an attempt when it is equal and fair opportunity to not discriminate somebody away from having a chance so because you believe that a former record holder needs to withhold their legacy. It doesn't matter if you have favoritism to Marcel Proust and he was a genius. If a person has done a new Guinness World Record attempt, they have the right to have an equal opportunity to take that record away from the former holder. There is no way that you can keep somebody from applying to an application or it's a form of cheating. And you're keeping me away from an opportunity of holding the record, which is discrimination. Mm -hmm. 
And you can use the excuse that the industry has to provide the, uh, the evidence of picking and choosing. That is not true. You cannot change my guidelines from one attempt to the next just because you find it convenient to keep me away from holding a record by discrimination. So Peter James Gunnan Lejang uh, is a novel expert in the publication industry. He is from 3 Lendale Avenue, South Shore, uh, Blackpool, Lanshire. FYL6LLUK UK, um, along with his email provided. He has given the specification of knowing that there is 28,827,000 characters. These are his words. This was awesome. So the measurements are at and dated of 723.22 at 5 p.m., exactly 28,827, excuse me. 28,827,000 total number, space with space, also noted, pages are 23,061, and there are 5,765,400 words, and the book series weighs 115 pounds. Uh, YouTube videos, photographic, and digital copy was provided. He is the venue of Promote Your Book, and the city that it took place because it was an online stream was Northern Cambria, which is my hometown, which took place in the United States. But this uh, communication was through a uh, networking uh, platform where it was an online stream. So he had video on Facebook and a Facebook event. He signed his name. And what qualifies him in the industry as an expert is this paragraph here. He was a former uh, radio presenter presenter at KA Radio, went to Sidmore College publishing expert at Facebook Promote Your Book and mar Market of Published Author and Novel Expert in giving out awards yearly of Author of the Year based on his know-how of literature. Maker of content for authors that need to be showcased to date, 07 he has 17 books published traditionally, um, a master novel, a constitu constitution novel, the ultimate instrument of justice and John Doe, the hand that could heal the world, were all best-selling novels in Sweden, which constitutes the idea of knowing what literature is. So that is witness number one who is qualified. I also have given a business card along with his qualifications of his um, background in publishing and also um, his college degrees. Along with every one of his links to make sure that he was a legitimate person. At this point he has 10,200 uh, members who he has as clientele. Okay. along with this card provided, and a picture. I also have uh, on this website exactly what you would read in the documentation. So the next witness I have for longest novel is witness to qualified. We're going to download that sheet. This person's name is Michael Williams. Michael Williams is a novel expert in publication. He is from Claremont, California. Again, his words, which had the tagline, this is awesome to ensure that I knew that he had exactly what he needed. So the measurements are at, at this date, 723.22 at 5 p.m. 28,827,000 total number with spaces that are also noted. Pages are at 23,061, 5,765,400 words and 150 pounds. 
he has YouTube videos, photographic evidence, and the same submission that you do that was given to you in your Guinness World Record requirements of your website. The event for Longest Novel was taking place in Northern Canberra, USA. July 26th, he has at his home in Ber I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. <laughs> um, MS is um, where he was located and witnessed the record attempt successfully in his opinion on his laptop via the internet. Those were his words, they're not mine. Um, his words again also is he's a developmental editor, chief editor for uh, Inked Studios LLC with a publishing house credit in comic, comics, novels, and online uh, news outlets. He has a fine arts bachelor's and master's in creative writing and entertainment, which also uh, constitutes that he has the understanding in the industry, the publishing industry, where Guinness World Records is not responsible and I am the not responsible as the writer either. These are the words that were addressed of what constitutes the novel. So we're all in the clear of being able to hold this. Um, nobody is liable for saying, hey, you're taking this away from Marcel Proust, the genius in history that has a 120 year old record. It's antiquated. It no longer has any place. I think he's brilliant. I do. But if somebody else has held the record, such as myself, you can't keep me away from it. I'm sorry. I apologize for taking the man's legacy. But if longest novel is my category, there's nothing I can do. It's the longest novel in the world right now with all the documentation that you need to see provided. And I shouldn't have to apologize for busting the record. I also have provided the business card and the college information and the uh, why he's an expert in publication also in a document that is submitted. So again, a fast and uh, understanding of uh, this person. He is a chief editor at Link Studios LLC, worked in creative director and a chief editor. Um, he does comics and novels and traditional publication. He's also part of a podcast. He has a degree from Full Sail University and lives in uh, California, United States. He's a chief a developmental editor, writer, producer, and etc., which meets the guidelines of the requirement that you asked me to go and search for. He also worked for Smart Media. I also have backup people to the, the witnesses that were at live events um, that happened in person. And again, due to COVID-19 and mass mandates, it was really difficult to have people that, in a crowd. But we did get all the witnesses, we did get all the signatures, and we have everybody who has seen and reviewed the material. And this also took place between live events and also online streaming events. So witnesses that are unqualified or not qualified to be exactly witnesses, um, they're event witnesses, and yes, they are qualified. They have degrees. Um, this one is Dean Hinton. Dean Hinton has um, teaching degrees and an English background. He's an event witness. He's not an expert in publication, is what we're trying to say. But he also gave his guidelines and a written statement of being a witness, and it's signed with a signature. I attach the same kind of witness sheet uh, uh, as well as what I did for the other ones. Um, if you want to put it down as a credible, you don't have to. The two are the only ones that you need. But he's a backup who also saw everything along with the 10-year timeline 
that it took to, to produce and write the material, along with a contact of a person if you also need to contact them, as all of them are able to be contacted. This person is Carol Weaver. Um, she is an event witness that was signed and signature, given a signature. Um, she is a freelance author in a ministry background associated with a degree in faith, along with fiction novels, and has written her own books and uh, done publications on her own time as a freelance author. I forgot to give you uh, Dean Hinton. He is a um, service representative, Ark Encounter works at Grant County School District. He's a, fo a foster caregiver, a Bible literature expert. Um, he worked at Johnstown Votech, studied University at Valley Forge, and a theologian. Bernadette Dillon is a Cambria County librarian. She is a coordinator for events that took place in the past, and at this point these events are old, but they did have taken a place during the time of dated 07-25-22. Bernadette now is um, currently in her 80s, and um, sad news on her, she did take a stroke, but she is still willing to be able to participate as a witness. Her health is kind of failing her, but um, she is no longer the director of the library in Hastings. She's been replaced, sadly, by being overrun. However, her qualifications of her former um, experience in her mind was unbelievable for somebody in Cambria County. Um, she is an event coordinator. It was in Hastings Beaver Street. It was the former library, not the current one. It's been replaced, and she also has been replaced as the director. But she was a library event uh, publication expert with a, uh, supervising the creator and publication specialist, a publication of authors that would review fiction and communications, and also help get um, community events and community authors established in the, in the township. And her statement is along with that is also signed. Angie Fells or Angelina Fells, and it might be Fells, I'm probably saying it wrong. Um, she's also a former library director of Hastings, Pennsylvania and uh, Cambria County Library Association. Um, she took a lot of heat for being part of a participation, and I believe that she might have even lost her job over me being part of this world record. So it would be nice if um, it would be understood that she is noted for uh, putting her head on a chopping block for me as a writer and I, I feel very bad about uh, the situations at Hastings for people saying that these events were um, troubling to them when it was a public event and it should be noted for me to be able to uh, achieve. But Angie was a former director at Hastings, uh, Pennsylvania um, she also has the entire documentation 
along with every email giving her the specifications of exactly what she saw in the digital copy, which meets the guidelines. Library director and event ma maker, a publication expert, uh, writer and reviews of novice, novels can say the requirements for holding and the record con uh, constitutes the, excuse me, the longest novel. Event maker of Hastings Public Library, occasion coordinator. Dated 7-25-22. It's also signed. I provided the business cards of each person. My next record attempt was most songs on a digital album. That new attempt number is 2207220005804 MSOA. And just like before, I have provided downloads. I'm going to see uh, at the top of here before I move on if that um, digital copy has loaded. And it did. Sorry for a technical glitch. I don't know why it is every time you go to try to do the proof of evidence, everything just going haywire. Okay, at this point in the website, I have um, the digital copy of the entire book. You can listen to the entire book with an audiobook version as well as seeing the visuals of every one of the pages. You can go through the entire thing from start to end in a digital copy where it shows exactly 1 through 80 volumes. Timekeeper statement for longest novel was 10 years for 80 books, or 9 years, 11 months, and 30 days, which took exactly uh, 5,258,880 minutes together and 87,648 hours.
most songs on a digital album is reference number 2207-2200-5804 MSOA. Here's the cover letter. Most songs on the digital album was 446 and was achieved by Mark Lee. The most songs on the digital album now is 3,328. It gives video measurements, photographic evidence, and specific evidence requested in the guidelines, which was a music producer which I have supplied and have a document signed as a witness. Files for most songs on digital album. These are all the downloadable files. This is a print copy with a log of time and date of the recordings and when they were uploaded into the streaming page. You can download the file by hitting the download button on the website. And then you can open it. Two hundred and twenty five pages of documentary evidence that you can review on your own time, um, along with the times, dates, and exactly when they were um, submitted and uploaded into streaming through Internet Achieve, a streaming platform that allows you to play music. The event posters along with the Facebook um, streaming of the live event is also um, on um, this picture right here of the posters of when it took place along with the time and date. Internet Achieve is my platform for streaming the entire album, one all the way up to 3,328. And as you can see, each one of these tracks goes over the minimum requirement of 30 seconds. And based off of the testimony of the uh, uh, witnesses who reviewed the album, they believe that it all meets the guidelines and constitutes a unique rhythm and a cadence through each one of the tracks that also have sur uh, surpassed the requirements that were needed for Guinness World Records. I know this might be a little bit self-explanatory, but all you need to do is click the play button here to go through the entire album. Um, it shows the line graphs above of the photographic evidence of showing how the you know the spike waves in the recording. Um, it turns blue when you're playing it. Uh, to skip through the tracks, you can just hit the skip buttons. There are currently 1,213 uh, plays of the full album. Hit show all to download all the music. Or hit download all 
13,328 files, is, which is what you had in that 200 page document above that's printable. Um, media evidence I have um, the Homegrown Rocker, which is a local radio station review of the entire album through Professor Jim Price. Most songs on a digital album had a Wikipedia page. Uh, this goes through why I did the record about me, how it was recorded, photos of the instruments and equipment that were used, along with uh, comments from uh, Foo Fighters musician Dave Grohl. Um, this is a press release, also a media article. This is a transcript of everything that Jim uh, Price said on his radio station about the music. Over here in photographic evidence, all you have to do is click on the picture. It gives you a full zoomed view of the, the posters, album cover, and events. I have 15 songs in the charts right now, and my I have a, a song that hit number three on the the rock and roll chart in my category on SoundClick. I have pictures of all the equipment that was used in the record, along with photographic evidence of um, screenshots of the entire album start to end. I have a fandom page of a Wikipedia page also that was produced for the world record showing the events, times, places, and the recordings, along with the top song chart um, recordings that hit um, the top of their category in alternative rock music. So obviously, if people are listening to these and they think that they need to be at the top of the charts, it definitely constitutes what is music. I have a video here of the start and end, which is the same as what I just showed you in the stream page. How the music was recorded through the platform that I use. You can click the video and see the how music was recorded live right into all the recordings. Um, I'd like to say that the recordings were done in one take. I do not use auto-tune. Um, I tried to uh, not edit any of the music, it is basically live. The only thing that I do use is a little bit of reverb, some delay, and that's basically it. I try to play like it's being recorded on a tape machine in an old school style method of producing rock and roll music. My witnesses have qualified. The one is Paul Eugene Walker, along with giving his statements of where the event took place. Um, he has a hand pen document that is signed and dated. Um, again, forgive the whiteout, the uh, number has changed, which he was aware of, um, from one number to another one when a few more recordings were finalized. On this file, you will see his qualifications, along with his business card meets the requirements of the record attempt. Along with the information of why he's qualified in the music industry. Paul Walker is a specialist in the commercialized music industry. Walker has been uh, a recording jazz trombonist um, in jazz records, Jazz in Your Face. Walker has been a professor of music for 60 years, has been ranked as a songwriter, composer, song musical, Pieces. He teaches singers and songwriters instruments 
He has worked as a conductor, band leader, and platforms of similar in the music publishing industry, likewise recording in studios in his lifetime, education with music professor at BA Music, Indiana University, teaches at Northern Cambria School from 1980 to 1999, um, then it moved to Northern Cambria Catholic School and St. Benedict Schools for teaching and classes trained in brass, woodwinds, and strings, drums, music percussion instruments, band leader of Cambria County's conductor for school symphonies in Johnstown and Altoona, Pennsylvania and has over 60 years experience doing so. My next witness is a uh, recording producer from BAP uh, Records. His name is Vincent Anthony Imbach. Um, his email and also number and contacts are available as they are for all of the witness download sheets. Music distribution services and many other related services to help supporting or existing artists become um, known and getting their musical pieces out to the world. He does everything in the music industry and distributing music and um, creating artists and releasing his idea of what he believes constitutes the ideas of music, rhythm, harmony, cadence, and also uh, well-composed pieces of songwriting. Most songs in a digital album has his statement right here. Along with his qualifications and his signature and time and date. And where the event took place. I also have a document attached of his information of his education. Vincent is a music producer, manager, dis uh, distributor, individualized in, uh, producer of music with his own music label and the uh, music promoter. Uh, publishing label and has a clientele. And also his specifications of the music and the type of music he produces and releases. Apparently, there are 77,427 followers of his music. He's a graduate of Southern New Hampshire University, and he lives in uh, Minnesota. I'm going to go with that. I've also given the links to his um, LinkedIn and also his streaming pages of his music distribution platforms. Music producer commercially available in the music industry. Witness has been supplied to you now Guinness World Records that has a signature past of using somebody in the music industry as a witness to give the ideas of what is the music record being held. As was in Longest Novel, it was requested that neither one of us be reliable or responsible for making these claims where we're both taken out of the equation and somebody else who witnessed these records can make these claims for us that they both constitute and hold with um, commercialized witnesses or specialists, one being um, a writing expert and the other one being a music expert, have both now all been submitted for both records for Guinness World Records in Longest Novel and Most Songs on a Digital Album for Marcel Ray Duress.
I thank you for your time and watching this video. This concludes. I also have an eyewitness statement, which is another witness statement you can use. Um, her events and qualifications, it's not exactly needed, you only need two, which are the ones that I already discussed.